enough war. I had enough violence. I've seen every. I've seen people losing their children. I've lost my aunt's uh, husband. I lost my uncle. So I have two ways. Either I give up, or I will face it in a good way. I'm 21 years old. I I work in educational support. I teach children in grade four and five. I give psychosocial support and I give uh, football training because this is one of my passion. I love it because this is a global language that uh, everyone loves. No one doesn't love. As a here, welcome. We take the children coming from uh, communities that are in, that, are, that they are living in bad conditions. Because we were children, we were refugees, and we know the bad conditions that they are living in. So we give them a place to play, but at the same time we're teaching them values and we're trying to de develop their life skills through these activities. That's why we created this uh, uh, this center for the, for the children and it's the, the, the focus is on the youth which is us to, to empower to empower youth for because youth also are not living in a good are not having uh, chances for them to express their, themselves to work to learn of course we have around 72 72 jobs that we can't hire. So this is a lot of pressure for, for us as the refugees. So we're, uh, we're, hand, we're trying to figure out some ways to try to, to live in this environment, but not to, to give up, not to have depression, not to, not to say that life is nothing, is the, everything is close in front of us. In life, I told them, in life, you lose, you gain. It's not always a, a gain a, a process. Sometimes you lose, and then when you lose, what what should you do? You will figure out ways to solve to solve the problem. So I took this training. I found a way to 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 help these children because I found someone to help me, and that's why I I want to be a role model and a good example for them to follow. I, I I've learned that over the years it has been around seven years since 1948 since we left Palestine. And that I see my people um, fighting in a good way. And why not? I'm, I'm one of them. So why not I fight in here, even though I'm not living in Palestine. I've never been there. I hope I will go there somewhere. And I know I will go. And this is what's, uh, what's keep me uh, believe in my cause, that this is my right. And I want to come back to my home. This is because I know it. Yeah.